G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in today's video I'll be taking you through how to import date data into Salesforce Marketing Cloud to ensure that you always have the correct values stored in your data extensions. So importing data into Marketing Cloud is one of the most fundamental and common activities that you'll do when using the platform. And while it's really easy to qualify your text and numeric and boolean fields, it can be a little more difficult to qualify your date data. And the reason is because your date data may be in different formats, it can also be in different time zones. So it's really important to understand how your date data is handled by Marketing Cloud when you import it, to make sure it's usable in your SQL filtered data extensions and journey builder activities. Now we can jump over to the Salesforce Marketing Cloud documentation to see the supported date formats for imports. You can see straight away there's a few recommended imports that we should use in all use cases. However, we can test this out for ourselves. I've gone ahead and I've created myself my very own CSV with all the different kinds of date formats that I can think of, including a few which I know won't work, but are good to test. I've got three columns, the ID, the name and the date. The ID so I can see which ones have passed and failed. The name will be the data type or the format for my dates. So I can see here a day, month, year, month, day, year, and the year, month, day formatting. In the last column is my actual date value provided. So you can see here for my day, month, year, at the 14th of May, 2025, at 1 p.m., 45 minutes past and 24 seconds past. To reach these date formats, I've also got some different time encodings. You can see here, this one has no date time encoding at all. Whereas next one down uses the Z coding for Zulu or the UTC time code. The next one down has plus 10. I'm in Australia, so I'm on the GMT plus 10 time zone. So I'll be trying that one out here as well. I've also got a slightly different date format using the single digit hour with the AM and PM denotion. As you can see here, it's 1 PM on this time zone. Now again, I do have the day, month, year, the month, day, year, and also the fully formatted year, month, day with a whole lot of different tests. So the best thing we can do now is jump into Marketing Cloud, my data extension here ready to go, and I can very simply import my data. So the import is now complete, and although I did start with 20 rows in my original source data, only 16 managed to import. So let's take a look at our 16 records. You can see here that we have in ID order, one, two, three, four, all succeeded, but five through eight all failed. Now during my import, I did specify that I was gonna use the Australian date format. So the month, day, year format would have failed on import. You can see for ourselves that IDs five through eight, there we are, all use the American month, day, year. And so they all failed on my manual import. Very important there. Finally, we do have the rest of them that all came through 9 through 20 looking good. And one thing to be aware of though, in all of my original dates, I did have always the same date. I had the 14th of the 5th, 2025 at 45 minutes past 1. Now, if I look at my actual data that was imported, some of these dates came through correctly. We do have the 14th of May, 2025 at 1.45pm. So the first record here came through exactly as uh, we gave it. It came through in the correct date. If we jump down to row three, actually even row two, here it says it's still a 14th, but it says it's 7.45 a.m. And below that we have 9.45 p.m. on the day prior. So what's happening to our date data as we're importing it? Well, when you import date data into Marketing Cloud, if you don't specify a date zone denotion, that is if you don't give it some treatment at the end of your date time, it's going to assume that you're importing that date time in CST or the Central Standard Time. So let me show you how this works. If we take a look at our imported dates CSV again, I have my ID, my name and my date time. And my date time value here was designed to be in my local time zone in Brisbane, Australia, which is UTC plus 10. We try and import this information, of course, Marketing Cloud handles it and passes it into CST. So the first record here is showing as 1.45 p.m. on Wednesday the 14th of May. Exactly the same as our imported date. How good! But the problem is that Marketing Cloud's treated this as being in CST time, which means even though it shows the correct date time here, it's actually been processed into CST. Now I'm at UTC plus 10 and uh, CST is in UTC minus 6. 
That means it's 16 hours difference in the actual back end of this data, which is not going to be good for us if we're doing some date time comparisons. Now the next one down shows our Z for Zulu time. If have a closer look, that means that when we imported this data, the Z character was at the end of our date time. That means it's going to be treated in Zulu time. Now again, 1.45 p.m. was our original data. I'll bring back my source data here. We did say 1.45 p.m., but it's then treated that and said it's now 7.45 a.m., six hours prior. Because we told Marketing Cloud this date time was in Zulu time, or UTC plus zero, and so it's deducted six hours to get to CST time for us and put that value in. Now we can keep looking down and find, for example, the correct time zone. We wanted to show this data as being 1.45 p.m. Australian time, which means the CST time should have been Tuesday the 13th of May at 9.45 p.m. Now, lucky for us, we do have a few of those values here. I can see IDs 15, 16, 19, and 20 all show the actual correct date time. You can see here what we did differently. The data here shows the year, month, day with our plus 10 denotion. Oh, my apologies, sorry. Row 3 as well also has because we use the plus 10. That's telling Marketing Cloud that we are in UTC or GMT plus 10, our correct time zone. So once Marketing Cloud imports that data and processes it, it goes through to the correct CST time. Okay, so date times are hard. So how do we overcome this? How do we ensure that our data is always imported using the correct date time? What's the solution? What's the learning here? The first learning is to make sure that we always extract our data from our source systems and import it into Marketing Cloud in the correct date format. Secondly, make sure that we do treat that date format with the correct time zone. So for date formats, as you can see, the year hyphen month hyphen day space or T followed by the HMS for hours, minutes and seconds denotion is easily the most standard and universal way to extract data and then import it into Marketing Cloud. Luckily for us, this is a very common and standardized date formatting structure, which means that most databases and data platforms allow for extracting data in this format. So you should be able to talk to your integration expert or your database admin and make sure that when they make your integrations into Marketing Cloud, they are always using this date structure. The second thing, and perhaps the most difficult and important of the two, is to make sure that you treat your data with the correct time zone. Now there are three key time zones you should be aware of. The first one, of course, is the default. If you do not specify a time zone, the Marketing Cloud is going to assume that you mean CST time. That is, of course, UTC minus six. Now you can pre-treat your data in your source database to be negative six UTC and then not require a time zone. That is to import the data with no time zone denotion. Alternatively, you can treat your data to use the Z time code, which is UTC plus zero or Zulu time. By treating your data with the Z, it means it's going to be ingested into Marketing Cloud as though it's in UTC plus zero or Zulu time. Thirdly, it's going to be your local time zone. This could be dependent on where your server is used or perhaps which platform you're using and where it's been hosted. For example, I'm using my data as being GMT plus 10 for the Australian AEST time. Of course, yours will be different based on where you live and where your data exists. In order to do this, of course, we use a GMT modifier, which for my plus 10 and GMT, I use the plus sign and then 10 hours and zero minutes. However, there is one key thing to be aware of, and that's daylight savings, or that lovely period throughout the year when clocks are rolled forwards or backwards by an hour. Now, luckily for us, most modern databases and data platforms have functions that can pre-treat your data into the known daylight savings time, and then convert it into one of the more recognized and common time zones. For example, if my database was in Sydney, Australia, which uses the AEDT, or the Daylight Savings Time for Australia, then I could use an SQL function to treat that time as being in AEDT and converting it into AEST and then applying the plus 10 GMT code. Alternatively, I could just convert my data from being in AEDT into UTC or CST time in one go. Of course, depending on what you choose for your time conversion and treatment, you'll have to apply the correct time zone treatment at the back of your date time value, be it no treatment, the Z code, or the GMT plus or minus codes. Following this guide means that you'll always be importing your data in the correct format and correct time zones into Marketing Cloud, which means it'll always store your data correctly in CST time, 
which means that your SQL where logic, your data extension filters, and your journey builder decision splits will always have the correct time zone being used. So you won't have to tactically address your date times by doing a plus or minus 16 or something hours in all of your statements. So now that we have our data stored correctly in Marketing Cloud, how about extracting it from Marketing Cloud? Well, as you probably guessed, it exports the data in CST time. Unfortunately, it doesn't put any GMT or other time zone codings onto that date value when you extract. So you'll need to let any systems that consume this Marketing Cloud data know that the default data value has been extracted in the CST time zone. Further, you'll need to be careful about how you extract your data and how it's read, because the date time data is formatted differently depending on where you extract it from. For example, if I extract my data using the manual export function on my data extension, this is what it looks like. The data is extracted using my cloud preferences date structure format. And because I'm in Australia, I'm using the day, month, year date format, which means that my data, even though I've specified it here as different time zones and otherwise, will always come out using the day, month, year with slashes, with a space, the single hour, minutes and seconds, with the AM and PM treatment. As you can see here, the values are aligning. So we do have the 1.45 PM value, we have the 7.45 AM value and so on and so forth, which matches. It's always in the same date structure, the same format, even if the time was incorrect. So what about an automation extract? Well, if I jump in and make an automation to do a data extract in my data extension, followed by a file transfer to move that CSV into my FTP, I can then download it and have a look at the values. And here they are. I jump back into my original data extension and you can see them side by side. Now what you notice is that the date format used for a automation extract is the year, month, day with hyphens, space, and then the two hour followed by minutes and seconds. So my 1.45 p.m. is shown as 13.45, my 7 a.m. as 07. And once again, there is no date time treatment on this file, which means again, the ingesting system that reads this data will have to be told this is all data in CST time. And finally, what about Postman? What if we use our Postman REST API to get custom object data by key, one of our new REST APIs? Well, we can call this API and return back all the rows in that data extension. You can see my DE has returned 16 rows. I can scroll down and my first value here is my ID 1 and our values day, month, year, hours, minutes, seconds and our value of 1.45 p.m. Scroll this across, we can see it for ourselves side by side. There is our ID 1 and it's the 14th of May at 1.45 p.m. What we can see though is the date time format this time uses the American format. Even though the name value shows I want it to be in this format, the API uses the American month, day, year structure. Again, with the single digit hour and the AM, PM treatment. And once again, there is no time zones, so you'll have to make sure that your downstream systems know this will be in CST time zone using the American month, day, year format. So there you have it. I hope this quick intro on how to import and extract date data in Salesforce Marketing Cloud is showing the importance of ensuring that you always use the correct date structures or formats and you always have the correct time zone treatment applied to ensure that you standardize your data for use in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing if these videos are helpful to your day-to-day -day routine. If you did like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.